Officials at the Federal Reserve are considering pausing interest rate hikes at their next meeting, which starts on June 13th. However, Friday's strong job report may complicate the Fed's path forward after 10 consecutive increases. With us now is Gina Smilik to talk a little bit more about this. She's a Federal Reserve and economy reporter for the New York Times. Always good to see you, um, Gina. So, you know, when, when, uh, when inflation started to dip a little, there was this general feeling that perhaps, you know, we'd see interest rate hikes slowing down. But then the last few reports that we got about jobs and all that stuff ind indicates maybe something different may happen. The labor market's running hot. Uh, is it running hot enough for the Fed to abandon a plan to leave interest rates where they are? Right, this is a complicated picture that the yeah. Fed is dealing with here. We had 339,000 jobs added last month, which is way more than you would expect at this stage in a business cycle and this kind of economy. And so I think that the Fed is going to really have to take that on board as they assess whether this is the right time to skip an interest rate increase, which is something they have been signaling pretty clearly they were going to do. I think at this stage, most investors and most sort of Fed watchers on Wall Street who you talk to will tell you that it's still likely that the Fed is going to skip an interest rate increase in June, that you know, they're going to hold off on raising rates. But this makes it a lot more likely that they're going to raise rates in July. So that skip is genu genuinely going to be a skip, a temporary pullback just to give themselves a little more time to see what's going on. But it's not going to be the end of the road when it comes to rate increases. So Gina, put this in context for our audience. Uh, who will be most impacted by this? So if we see rate increases continue, if we see interest rates climb higher than they otherwise would have, that's really going to affect anybody who wants to do anything on borrowed money. So if you are thinking about taking out a mortgage to buy a house, or if you were thinking about borrowing to buy a car, you know that is immediately going to affect you. The other people who will be affected are anybody who's in a sort of vulnerable position in the job market, because the more the Fed has to do to slow down the economy, the more likely it is that unemployment is going to rise quite a bit, that wage growth is going to slow quite a bit, that we might see some job losses here. And so I think that's sort of the two sides of the ledger here. On one hand, if you're borrowing money, and on the other hand, if you are at risk of losing a job, this could matter to you. So as you know, when the interest rate hikes started to kick in, a lot of people were basically warning us, look, we're going to hit a recession. And then it was like, oh, best case scenario, there'll be like a soft landing and we won't actually have a recession. People will keep their jobs and everything will be OK. Where are we now? What are economists saying? I mean, because we've seen a series of, of, you know, increases and so far so good. Cross my fingers. Yeah, I think we are at a place right now where you can look at this situation and take a very glass half full approach to that. You can say, you know, the job market is really strong. It's clearly resilient to these rate increases. Growth actually seems to be holding up. Even the housing market appears to have stabilized. So this economy just has so much oomph that maybe it can get through this period without slowing down. You can also take a glass half empty perspective mm. on that though and say, oh no, the economy is not slowing down as anticipated on the back of these interest rate increases. And that might mean that the Fed has to be even more aggressive or keep interest rates high for even longer in order to wrestle inflation back under control. And in, in that scenario, it could just be setting up for a delayed but still serious recession. Mm. You know, so I, I think you can kind of take it both ways at this stage. I'm gonna be half full. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, Gina, thank you very much.